Hi there! We are going on a trip in a couple of days and I thought I'd share our dog packing list with you. Everything we're packing I grouped into three categories and I will start with their gear first. Alright, so the first item, in, it makes a lot of sense, <laughs> it's their collars. I am taking one for both, I might leave a third collar in the car. Um, so uh, what we're taking is the uh, Bully Billows Ramsey range. These are very lightweight, easy to wash as well, like if the dogs have been in the mud. Um, but they're also super comfortable, very soft and easy to put on and take off. Um, so yeah, it's something super simple. Um, I've got two of these and I'll be taking a different color, probably the other Bully Billows that we have um, as a backup, should one of them break. Um, then we're taking two leather leads. I've got these by Hunter. They are one meter in length, so a little over three foot. Um, I always use short leads because these dogs are so low to the ground that if they walk next to us and you have your arm extended, they will step over longer leads. Um, so for that purpose, we have short leads. Um, we might again take another lead in the car just as a backup in case one of them breaks but I'm not expecting anything of this stuff to break anytime soon luckily. Um, the quality is good. Uh, should it rain, we've got a coat for both of the dogs. Um, this is Hunter as well. Where's that? Um, it comes lined with an extra layer of fleece that we will take out because it probably won't be cold. Um, so I'm just taking uh, the exterior for both dogs. Since Mojo has joint issues, it's always nice to have something that will at least keep her. Since Mojo has joint issues, um, the coat is a clever idea to at least keep the joints warm. Um, should it be a cold day, very windy, or should it be raining? Um, at least that will keep the joints a little bit more comfortable. Um, also for Venus, if it's just a little bit of rain, she won't be wearing one. It's fine, but uh, should it be terrible? Yeah, we've got one for her as well. Now before I show you the next item, let me explain the trip. Um, we are going to the Czech Republic. Um, we're taking the car, it takes around just a day to drive there. And then first on the agenda is a three day canoe trip. And we'll be stopping um, at different like small hotels or um, like mountain huts um, at a different hut each day. And then we get back to the car and we go on our way to the next uh, adventure. But on this first part of the trip, uh, the dogs will both be wearing the life vests. So I've got one for Mojo and one for Venus. <clears throat> These are the Ezzy Dog DFD X2. It's a new version, uh, which is not as bulky as some of the other uh, life vests that you have. Um, they fit the dogs really well. I put, I'll put the sizes of everything in the uh, description because I know that Stafford's can be very difficult to find uh, products like these for. Um, but they fit very well and um, we've introduced them to wearing it, um, wearing the items, so they're comfortable wearing them. Um, should the dogs jump in we can easily grab them uh, out of the water should it be necessary um, also Venus is not too comfortable swimming she loves water but not swimming necessarily so maybe this will make her more comfortable and enjoy it a little bit more um, then we're taking one chocolate ball yeah. um, just yeah we we're going to do a lot of hiking swimming running whatever but should we want to give them something extra, something more fun, we will take them out and play a game of fetch. This is Venus' favorite toy. Mojo loves them as well. But they're also easy to, easy to clean, they don't weigh a lot and they're quite small, so this is the toy of choice. So now the final item that I put in the gear category is their bowl. Um, it's flat and you can fold it open. Um, we will probably only be using this for water um, on breaks and also when we um, get back to a hot a hotel and put it on the floor there. Um, the dog's dinner we will probably be putting outside in the grass um, because we will not always have proper option to clean the bowl and I don't want to put any food in it if we can't clean it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the gear category. Whilst we're walking, we will... <laughs> 
Whilst we're walking, we will also be using poop bags, of course. So I've got, uh, I think I'm taking around four of these rolls. Um, they're the Green Maker uh, compostable poop bags. The roll has like 15 bags. Um, we have got, we've got, I think, two of these big boxes of these rolls. I think we have around 500 poop bags for under 20 euros, which is really cheap for compostable bags. So this means they're not biodegradable plastic, but they're compostable made of uh, cornstarch. Uh, it's the only type of poop bags we use. It does not mean we put them, we throw them into nature, but we just don't want to use any extra plastic. So we will be taking, I think, 60 bags, a maximum of four poops in total a day. <laughs> that should be enough, we probably have plenty. Um, and then on each hike, we will also be taking this tiny towel. It's uh, like a guest size towel, um, a microfiber that dries off their paws quite quickly when we go inside um, and takes off the mud, but it also dries uh, overnight, overnight super quickly so we can like um, clear it of the, the dried mud and then put it back in our bag so that we don't soil every hotel that we get into. On the item of getting home, we will always do a tick check. I know you've got many different types of tongs to get stuff out. Um, these are the ones we prefer. You can get them at every um, drugstore here. And on that same topic, we are using two products to uh, protect them against ticks. Um, we've got these drops by, uh, it's one of a Dutch a Dutch brand of a Dutch bigger company. Um, so this particular brand is called Stop Animal Bodyguard and these drops I use, it's got four bottles, I use uh, two bottles every two weeks. So on the day that we leave, I will be using the drops and they will be good for two weeks on the dogs. Completely natural and uh, you can still touch the dog uh, after applying it and also after two days or so you won't feel it um, and it smells great and quite fresh and lemony um, and we have used this twice um, for a month that it was still quite sunny it's been quite rainy the couple, past couple weeks um, and we took Venus hiking um, I think five times a week for one and a half hours in a forest that was has a lot of long grass and um, <laughs> And I think that this has really helped, so this will definitely be used, but on days that um, we go out on this trip, we will be also be using the, the Protectic. So basically, if you use the drops, you can also put this over the dog, every single, spray this on the dog every single day to give it an extra protection. So we'll be using this on ourselves as well, probably, um, because again, it's completely natural and yeah, using it on at least your ankles, your legs. I think it's clever. So yeah, that's kind of my top tip. Have good tick protection. If you don't trust the natural stuff, get something else, but protect your dog from ticks. Um, next, these dogs have wounds every single day. <laughs> these dogs injure themselves so often because they're quite rough. They uh, don't really they don't really feel anything anyways. Um, Moja had like a wound on her leg the other day, like a big scratch, it was this big. And I put this on, to tell you what it is, but I put this on and the next day the wound was closed. So this is going with us. It's a tiny tube of uh, a honey ointment. Um, and it's from the same, it's a different brand, but the same company that the uh, tick stuff is from. Um, this is this is like wonder stuff so if i have a wound i'll be putting this on as well um just a, a cut or anything like that we'll be using this this was just a trial i don't know why i haven't had it before because mojo is five and a half years old now and uh, this could have been used very well <laughs> at least weekly then <laughs> you know what this is right yeah. This thing means treats. Look, here's Mojo. <laughs> uh, this is their a nail file. I basically cover a regular nail file in um, some sandpaper. And that is what I use for the nails once every one or two weeks. Also, if one of the nail, nails will tear, I can still file off any dry bits should it be necessary. 
I was setting up to take a picture of the dogs with all the stuff that I'm taking and I came across this which I didn't show and um, actually one of the most important things this is Mojo's pain medication um, we don't really use it a lot as yeah except for when we go to extremes so we will be hiking so many kilometers every single day and um, she will be allowed of lead as well so we are taking holly plant or galliprant i don't know if it's uh, a product that you can get abroad as well um, so this is a painkiller specifically for joint issues and it also is an anti-inflammatory yeah most important thing i should not forget this but it was in the bag so good but also important to share this is um one of the most important things then the final thing in this category is their supplements. Again, same company, different brand. Um, this is from the brand Pure, which is a Dutch brand of natural supplements. Venus gets the muscle mass basically every single day. Mojo gets, gets the other one every day. What I'll be doing, because the jugs are quite big, I will take their daily scoop 15 times, 14 times into a small glass jar. I might even mix them so that I can put it on their food every single day and keep their joints healthy because after the canoe trip we will be in uh, the Bohemian Switzerland area for four days and then uh, afterwards we will be going on a six day hiking trip uh, so we're in the mountains but we're still hiking around 15 to 19 20 kilometers a day that is 10 to 13 miles I think uh, it's a lot um, very yeah for people especially it will be very hard because it's so uh, steep where we are and um, yeah it won't be the most easy hike let me just say that but for the dogs um, still it's quite quite a lot so supplements I don't want to leave them at home and that brings us to the final category and obviously that's what the dogs will like the most we will pick up some stuff Usually I feed raw, um, I uh, balance it all myself along NSE guidelines, I um, am quite yeah, particular about the food, but we'll be feeding two types of non-raw food on this trip because we will not have an option to refrigerate anything and we are not, don't have the option to wash the bowl, like I said. Uh, we don't want to be feeding raw. <laughs> um, the main food that we will be feeding is this kibble. It's uh, the brand Essential Foods. Uh, the variety that we have is Highland Living. This is a bag of three kilos. I've got two of them. So this particular kibble has around 79% um, animal protein, animal fat. So it has beef, uh, it has turkey, salmon, and some wild birds, I think it has. And it has sweet potato and peas. What else does it have? It's got a lot of herbs and vegetables and some fruits, um, but that's all in the other 21%. So I do like a kibble that has a lot of meat um, and at least the vegetables in it not to be as starchy because Venus doesn't really deal well with starches. Um, so we ended up going for this and I'm very curious to see how they do with it. Um, should be fine for just two weeks and um, I'm actually quite excited to try it because I'm not opposed to feeding uh, dry food especially because most dry foods are balanced perfectly um, so it's a safe way to feed um, I personally choose raw but on this trip this is what we go for um, I will be using um, around 200 grams a day which um, sums up to what they would usually eat in um, like the caloric amount so they eat around 750 cal calories a day in raw um, so that's what I'll be feeding kibble wise but I've got something extra that I'll be feeding in the mornings so I've got two types of um, well these are brands that make pre-made raw but they also make these steamed meals um, they are more concentrated traded than um, tin food I think twice as concentrated so these foods you would feed around um, I think if I were to feed them uh, tin food, I would be feeding 800 grams. This would be around 300. So it's much more concentrated, less moist. Um, but um, it can be kept at room temperature for a year, but it still has similar ingredients to the raw food that these brands make. I have fed, fed this brand to Mojo for a year, um, the raw version, version, and I really liked it. So 
Um, I've got 10 of these and this is 200 grams in a roll. Um, so I'll be feeding them 100 grams per dog each day, meaning that they will get another one third of their daily caloric re regular requirements every day. So they are at around a little over um, uh, 1000 calories a day, but they will be doing a lot. So that's why I chose to add this. It's also a little bit more moisture, a little bit more palatability for them, a different type of texture. So I wanted to add this. I've got 10 of these and I've got, I think I'm taking two of these. This is a different brand. All will be listed below. This is Dove. This is Carnivore. Um, and yeah, I've got a couple more of these in the basement, but we will probably only be taking what I said, two of these, 10 of these should be enough for 100 grams every day. This will be fed in the four days that we're in the same spot. So we will be in the same area for four days once. That's why I, I can take two of these. I will not keep an open sausage like this in our bag and go out in the sun. <laughs> I don't like that. But these, yeah, 10 days, half a sausage each in the morning. Because we will go hiking a lot um, and I like to reward nice behavior, but also it's nice for them to just have tiny bits of food throughout a busy day. Uh, I will be taking a lot of training snacks. Um, I've got dried duck, sheep lung, I think this is beef lung, and fried chicken breast. Um, again, two different types of textures um, and uh, sizes. I like to give them some variety so I will not be taking only one I will at least be taking two different ones at the same time during a hike uh, I train and feed intermittent, intermittently on hikes so that's why I'll be taking a lot of this uh, I might even add some more and I also might use the dinner for this um, just to give them some variety throughout the day I think Mojo smelt something <laughs> So even though that I am now already feeding a third more in um, caloric intake, I know that dogs usually, if they eat a specific amount of calories in raw food, in kibble, they need a little bit more. So that's part of where I contribute with the... Um, it's time for an ear washing session now, so... Okay. <laughs> so, um, because... Uh, because of that, I will be giving those sausages, like I said, but on every single hike or every single hiking day, day we will also be giving them a chew snack. This is dried beef skin, and so is this, and this is dried camel skin. These and the previous training snacks all come from Bello Box, a company that I am the blog writer for, and uh, this, I think, is our third box um, or fourth. Um, and this time we specifically asked for lots of training treats and also lots of chews that were cut to a shorter size. These are usually so long um, that I won't be taking them in a backpack that size, so they have been cut to a shorter size specifically because we asked. Um, we wanted short uh, chews and a lot of training treats. Training treats we'll also be using for another video soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, it will be around, about training and I also have a video coming up of all of the snacks that we have uh, in our cover right now, so you'll be seeing those up close uh, a bit more. Um, so yeah, they made that for us, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, we do really like the products, so that will be uh, of great use. I also have two of these, some beef ears, those I will be taking. And because it still isn't enough to feed them a snack every single day, which I do want to do, I've got two bags of rabbit ears by a company called Wolf of Wilderness. Um, yeah, they won't last for more than a minute or so, but at least it will be something. I I think I have some other chews though still. I will check um, in the cupboard to see what I can find. Um, and yes, I think I think that's all we're taking. Um, so if you want to see more of the snacks, then definitely wait for the video that comes in two weeks um, to see everything that we have in our cupboard currently because I'll be filming that tomorrow probably. We have a meal prep filmed which will be up next week and um, then with the training 
snacks we will be fil uh, talking about uh, setting your dog up for success i will be filming that this week as well um so that will be coming on the 9th of august got a lot of filming to do but i like it so i'll be doing that um this week and just before we leave next week our car is tiny by the way we have a daihatsu kore which is yeah, it's tiny <laughs> so it will all fit in just perfectly the dogs will take up most of the space the dogs and their stuff um, but that's fine so this was quite a long video i hope you liked it and um yeah we'll be seeing you next week with a meal prep time lapse bye